What's up everybody? Today we're going to talk about the Queen's Gambit. We must first think about the openings. We have a normal move of E4. This move is considered common, but it's not going to get you very far in the rating because black can respond with this, E5, normal move, or even Scandinavian win defense. And then you take and he takes. So there's many response. And another good one for black is Sicilian defense. But that's not for today. Today we're going to talk about the Queen's Gambit. This is one of the strongest opening you can see. It has 40% win rate according to the chess status. We go this. D4. It's uncommon move for people. And it works very well for high rated players. Normally black will respond with this. Why can't you do this? Because you'll get free pawn for white. Therefore, this is the best move. Here comes the gambit. C4. White has the option to defend or not. You can just do this to ignore, or you can just take it. By taking this, white will proceed to move another pawn to e4, controlling the center with only sacrificing one side pawn. And now the, the middle pawn for black will be gone soon. So if you're white, I mean black, what should you do? You should try to control the center and not lose it. So the best way is to just move your pawn up, preventing this to control more. And of course, it's time to take the easy pawn. Boom. You take it. Now you have full control. So you will not you will prevent, prevent this by doing so, bringing the horse so that you can stop this. Or if he doesn't block, he's gonna get taken. And there are many responses to the Queen's Gambit. And we'll start over again. What if black does not take? Here, here, here. What if black just does this? What do we do? There's a way to ignore it by just keep developing. Just move your horse here. Do not take this because if you take this, it's gonna be just equal. It's not going to be good. So we wait until he takes. Most of the time. And since white moved this, we're going to move the next one. Which is, we should see, let's say, this one. Protecting both pawns. He has a triangle now, a V-shape. A very strong pawn structure. So white can respond by just pushing the horse or he could even put bishop here on a safe spot. Sometimes if you don't want to put the bishop, you just put the horse. You wait for their horse to come and then you put the bishop here to pin the horse to the king so they cannot, they cannot move. Now this space is taken. You can easily move it up here. He has to take. And then your horse will take. And now you have more control for the center. So let's go back. Continuing. We should find... Which one do you think we should castle from? For the queen gambit? We should castle the king's side. Why? Because the queen's side, we're going to attack. King's side is to protect the king. As simple as that. It's gonna open like a lot of this side, and then this side is gonna be closed. The it's really aggressive for the king, for the queen side, and I recommend it if you're aggressive. It's gonna work till like you get you get a like 200, 2000 rated player. It's gonna still work for queen gambit. So you go here, develop the horse. Simple development. He developed horse. And then we develop. 
You have two choice. You can develop this one or two. It depends on what you want. If you develop two, be careful about your horse. So if you develop one, then I, I recommend develop just before you develop, take off your bishop. Bishop, like just put it right here, safe. He developed more. We put our horse. See, very good development. It's very safe, the horse. And he brings out the bishop to pin. And then we continue. We can do this. Just move one. So the bishop will be open. He can do the same. He just he can he can castle soon, so he's he's just gonna move it out. Boom. And bishop out. Aim to castle. And now it's time for the black to castle. So long castle. And here it's time for the white to break the pawns. So we can just take the pawn like this. He takes back. And let's see what we can do. Move the castle here. He can pin the horse again, double pin, white castles, and um, white, I mean black brings, bring castle here. We stop the pin, take, take, And then we're gonna we, we don't want to get pinned, so we just go here. The horse gotta be careful. We move up. Horse can do what can horse do? You see, black kind of stuck, even though black has many pieces. White is more strong. So keep in mind that when you're playing Queen's Gambit, play on the Queen side and make safety spot for King on the queen, King side. That's it. It's simple and it works in the end game very well because you develop your piece together and attack in the same time and you don't lose many material. Since it is not real gambit. So after all, if you wanna play this style, try it. And you can improve your own style. You don't have to think about the theory, think about the concept. How do you develop? Like if you move this here, what happens? You wanna aim here? Of course they won't allow you here. You're gonna have to back, you know? Things like that. Keep developing, but also keep in mind that which one is guarding which. Don't think about the theories too much because you're not that level yet. But if you are, that's good. But for beginners, just try to think which piece threatens the, the other. And that's gonna be that's gonna be it. Thank you.